Hello everyone, I'm Lisa, and today we have four budget-friendly Christmas DIYs. DIY number one is gonna be a snowman ornament. For this DIY, you're gonna need an ornament and a fuzzy pair of socks, white chalk paint, and some orange paint. To start this DIY, I just took the white chalk paint and a brush, and I just dabbed the white chalk paint all over the ornament. I didn't want it completely covered because it does have a light inside that I want to be able to see. I just did one coat of the chalk paint and then I just dried it with the blow dryer. Next, I'm going to work on the snowman's nose. I just took a wood skewer and I cut it down to the size that I wanted it to be and then I painted it orange. Now I'm going to work on the snowman's hat. I just folded down the top of the sock and then I folded it back down the other direction, got it the way I wanted it to look, and then I hot glued all the way around the edge to hold it into place. And once I get the hat into place, I'm going to pull out the end of the sock. I'm going to decide what length I want the hat to be, and then I'm going to cut off the toe of the sock. Now I'm going to take a piece of string and tie it to the top of the ornament pull the hat up over the string and tie off the top of the hat. Now I'm gonna take the toe of the sock, hot glue it to the bottom of the ornament to make the scarf. And I'm just gonna take hot glue and run it all the way around the edge of the scarf to make sure it stays attached. To make his eyes and mouth, I used fabric paint and then I just hot glued his nose into place. And to finish up his little snowman, I just took some white fabric paint and added little white dots in the center of his eyes. And here is how our little snowman turned out. I think he is so adorable. I just love how he lights up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. DIY number two is going to be a snowman with his little top hat and he's standing on birch logs. To start this DIY, we're going to use one of the white fuzzy socks three styrofoam balls in three different sizes. I also have a burlap top hat from the fall collection that I'm going to paint black. Once the hat is dry, I'm going to work on the ribbon that goes around the hat. And I just used some tiny red masking tape and I wrapped it around twice. Mm -hmm. I did have to use some hot glue to hold the masking tape into place. Now I'm gonna work on the snowman's nose. I'm gonna use a wood skewer, cut it down to size, and paint it orange. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to work on the snowman's body. I'm going to take the largest styrofoam ball and I'm going to put it down into the toe of the sock. And then I'm going to fold the sock back over so I can see the top of the styrofoam ball. I'm going to hot glue around the opening. I'm going to press it into place and I'm going to keep doing that until the ball is completely covered. And I'm going to do the same process for the second ball as I did with the first. Now I'm going to work on the head of the snowman. I'm going to do the same process as I did with the first two, except for this time I'm going to have to cut off some of the extra material in the back of the head to make it fit snug. Once I get the extra material cut off, I'm just going to hot glue it into place. To make the top more secure, I'm going to tie the top with some white twine and then I'm going to trim off the excess. Now I'm going to work on the hat. I'm going to have to take the X-Acto knife and cut some of the foam part off the bottom so it will fit over the top of the head. Now I'm going to work on the base for the snowman. I'm going to take two of these little birch logs and hot glue two thin wood rectangles on the bottom to reinforce the logs and make them set flat. And now I'm just going to hot glue the snowman on top of the logs. And then I decided to take some of the white string and tie it in between each of the snowballs to make the snowman's body look more defined. Now I'm going to work on his scarf. I'm going to take a piece of plaid ribbon I'm going to fold the ends over and hot glue them into place to make it more narrow. And then I'm going to fold it in half. Once I fold it in half, I'm going to make little slits at the ends to make it look like fringe. Next, I'm just going to wrap the scarf around his neck. I'm going to wrap the one side over the other and hot glue it into place.
Now I'm gonna be working on these arms. I have some little branches that I'm gonna use for that. And then I'm also gonna use some greenery that I'm gonna be putting down underneath them on top of the birch logs. Now I'm gonna work on the arms of the snowman. I just took some snow covered branches and then I also took some greenery and I'm gonna cut that down to put underneath the snowman on top of the birch logs. And to attach the arms, I just took my X-Acto knife, made holes in both sides, and hot glued them into place. And I just used fabric paint for his eyes and his mouth. And then I took my X-Acto knife, made a little hole, and then attached his nose with hot glue. And then I just used two different size snowflake paper punches to make snowflakes to attach to his arms. And to finish him up, I just took my fabric paint and added some little buttons to his belly. And here is how he turned out. DIY number three is a snowman door hanger. And to start this DIY, we're going to start with a pizza pan from Dollar Tree and some chunky knit yarn. I'm going to start by finding the center of the pan. And then I'm going to take the end of the yarn, I'm going to hot glue it into place, and then I'm going to spiral it around, hot gluing as I go until the pan is completely covered. Once I got the inside of the pan completely covered, I did cut off the yarn and then I'm going to start adding yarn to the outside edge, hot gluing it into place. Now that I have the pan completely covered, I'm going to take the hat and see if it fits over the top of my pan. And then next I'm going to work on the nose. I took one of the thin wide popsicle sticks and I cut it into the shape of a carrot. Next, I'm gonna wrap the popsicle stick in orange string until it's completely covered. Next, I'm gonna take these buttons that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna find enough of them that are the same size so I can form a mouth and eyes for the snowman. Now 
Next, I'm gonna work on a bow. I'm gonna cut four strips of this plaid ribbon at 20 inches, and then I'm gonna be cutting four strips of a white ribbon at 16 inches. And then once I get all the strips cut, I'm going to take each piece and I'm going to glue the ends together. Next, I'm going to cut one more strip of each of the ribbons and I'm going to cut those at 16 inches long. These two pieces of ribbon are going to be the tails of the bow. So I'm going to dovetail each end. Now I'm going to assemble the bow. I'm gonna take two pieces of each ribbon and the tails and I'm gonna layer them on top of each other. I'm gonna scrunch the middle together and I'm going to attach them with a zip tie. Once I made sure that the zip tie was pulled very tight, I pulled my tails down and then I started fluffing each loop of the bow. Before we attach the bow, we're going to work on the greenery bundles. I just zip tied each side together, and then I took the two sides and zip tied those together to make one piece. Next, I just hot glued the eyes, the nose, and the mouth into place. Once I got all those glued into place, then I glued on the greenery bundle. Next, I hot glued the greenery bundle into place. I made sure to use a lot of hot glue to make sure it was secure, and then I hot glued the bow into place. Next, I'm going to take one of the fur pom-poms from one of the Dollar Tree Santa hats and I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the red hat for my snowman. Now I'm going to work on the back of the snowman. I'm going to put a piece of rope on the back so I can hang it on my door. I'm going to take some black felt. I'm going to cut out some little squares. I'm going to hot glue them to the back of a pan and then I'm going to tie the ends of the rope in knots and then I'm going to hot glue the knots to the felt. This will help the rope stay attached to the back of the pan. And to finish this little snowman up, I'm just going to add a little hot glue to the edge of his hat so his hat don't fall off. And here is how he turned out. I just love how this little door hanger turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. DIY number four is a light up gingerbread house. We're going to start this DIY with two of the unfinished wood gingerbread houses. Next, I'm going to take my scraping tool and I'm going to remove all the windows and doors. Now I'm going to be working on cutting out the windows. To make it a little easier to cut out, I took my drill and a drill bit 
and I cut holes all the way around the windows and then I finish cutting the windows out with an X-Acto knife. Next, I'm gonna work on the roof in the side of the house. I used four of the wood panels, two full sheets for the roof, and then I took two more of them and I cut them down to size for the sides of the house. Now that I have everything cut down to size, I'm going to be attaching four Jenga blocks to each one of the panels with wood glue and hot glue. And once I had all the Jenga blocks glued into place, I'm gonna give everything a coat of paint in the color nutmeg. I ended up using apple barrel paint, so I ended up having to give everything three coats of paint. Now I'm gonna give all the windows and the door and the top edge of the house a coat of white chalk paint. Now we're going to assemble the house. We're gonna take all of our dried pieces, we're gonna line them up. I'm gonna first start with the roof. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna hot glue the pieces into place. And then we're gonna work on the sides. You just need to make sure that your sides are even with the bottom so your house will set flat. Now we're gonna work on putting on the front of the house. I'm gonna put little drops of wood glue onto all the Jenga blocks. And then I'm gonna add some hot glue to the top part. I'm gonna line up the house. I'm gonna make sure it's straight. And then I'm gonna finish hot gluing the sides of the house until it's completely glued into place. On the next part, we're going to be putting on the windows and the door. Here you can see I completely cut out the windows so none of the panes are in there. And then I just hot glued the windows and the doors into place. Now we're going to add some embellishments to the house. I have these little holly leaves that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to glue one on each one of the windows. Next, I'm gonna take one of these little gold glitter stars that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top of the house. And then I had some of these little gingerbread men. I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna glue a couple of those on each side of the door. 
I found some of this pom-pom ribbon. I thought it would be so cute on a gingerbread house. So I just cut a strip and hot glued it to the front of the house. And to make the edge of the roof look a little more like snow, I took some of the white fabric paint and I'm just gonna completely cover the edge of the top of the house. While the paint was still wet, I added some sprinkles to the top of the house. And then I decided to add some of the paint to the bottom parts of the window to make it look like snow. I wanted the wreath on the door to look more realistic. So I took some of the green pieces from the sprinkles and added it to the paint on the wreath. And to finish the wreath, I just took some red and white twine, made a bow and glued it into place. And then I added some of the white fabric paint to the bottom of the house and around the gingerbread men. And to finish this little house up, I just added some fairy lights. And here is how it turned out. I think this might be my favorite. It is just too cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you made it this far in the video, let me know by leaving me a snowflake emoji in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. I'll see you on the next one.